Lorenzo, what is your current location? I'm in a room at Chasing that Elite, sir. I need you back here. Pronto. I'll see you in a few hours, then. Do you need transport? No, sir. I have people on the ground. I'll set up transportation. Can they be trusted? Yeah, you know my feelings about trust, sir. Trust no one. Not even yourself. I can't tell you. They're honorable men. Dedicated to the cause. I hear they have beautiful sunsets down there. Yeah, the best in the world, sir. Okay, then. I'll watch the sunset and get over to you. Sounds like a plan, Lorenzo. Oh, Mr. Parker, thank you, sir. Now, before I get started, I would like to welcome our newest addition to the Bureau, Agent Ferguson. Please introduce yourself to the team. Good morning, everyone. My name is Danielle Ferguson, but you can refer to me as Ferguson for short. I'm a newly hired agent assigned here to the task force, and it's been my dream since I was a child to serve justice in our city. I'm here to assist with the case, so whatever you need, I'm more than happy to help. Welcome to the team, Agent Ferguson. Thank you, Agent Ferguson. It is an honor to have you on board. Uh, now I'm going to go around the room and hear if anyone has any new updates on the current case. Agent Carter? Yes. Hi. Uh, from the evidence that I've gathered so far, Dominic Bain is affiliated with a militia group called API. Would you care to elaborate for our newest addition? API is a militia group founded by Alan Parker after a police raid of his facility on May 23rd of 2000. The reason for this raid was because Alan Parker was stealing classified intel to create biological weapons of war to control the U.S. for his own personal gain. He's never succeeded and his whereabouts are currently unknown. Where do you think he could be now? It's suspected that Alan Parker utilizes many resources within the country. What do you mean? It means that anyone from police to detectives to bus drivers, teachers, uh, military units, hell, even your local church pastors could be under his influence and we wouldn't know it. Okay, so Alan Parker is a very dangerous man. Uh, a few potential missing links to catching this guy are still not yet to be found. And who would that be? Well, that same Dominic Bain, along with Liar Reaper, John Parker. We have been working tirelessly trying to find him, but every time we get close to catching one of these guys, we get a corporal. Uh, uh, one problem is that we face was when two or other two agents, Mark and Sal, encounter an ambush following liar reaper into the woods in the afternoon according to agent sal dominic appeared at the scene after uh, shortly after a, an altercation with uh, with the liar neither dominic bain the liar reaper or agent mark have been seen since that incident does anyone know of agent mark's whereabouts and why would there be an altercation with two of the people who are currently investigating that's a good question According to our current understanding of the case, Dominic Bain was an assistant to Alan Parker at the time of the killing of their former associate, Walter Reaper. Now, uh, Elijah Reaper was just a little boy at the time that his father, Walter, was murdered. But now he's all grown up, and he feels like he needs to redeem his father by doing the only thing he knows how to do, which is to get back at Alan Parker by trying to kill his son, John Parker. And here's the irony. There is no direct affiliation, as far as we know, between the John Parker and his father, Alan Parker. Other than the fact that they're related. So the assumption was made that just because John Parker was related to Alan Parker, Eli and our age couldn't decide that Sean was affiliated with his father's wrongdoings. Exactly, and Dominic Bain just so happened to track down uh, Elia just in time to stop him from reaching Alan until Mark and Sal arrive at the scene. Jesus, it sounds like some sort of crazy redemption story. Yeah, and to answer your other question, Danielle, according to Agent Sal, when he got back in the bureau after the events happened, it, it seems that Mark has some sort of serious family affair. Uh, we haven't heard from him since. Do you have any idea where he could be?
Can I help you? Yeah, who are you? Some shady FBI agents? Nah, sir. I'm Agent Greg and Eddie. I'm Agent Mark. I'm here to see Deputy Jack. Yes, sir. Right this way. You may not. My God. Everyone from this current briefing, you're all dismissed. I want you here. Where the hell have you been? You think you can just walk into my briefing without any prior acknowledgement? Jack, it's a long story. Well, this long story better be good. Well, first off, I want to apologize to you and the Bureau for my unexpected leave of absence. But I'm pretty sure you're going to appreciate the information and intel that I'm about to give you and possibly calm down a bit. Well, at the rate you're going, you're going to end up like your ex-partner, Sal. I'm considering firing because he can never do his job right. Well, uh, on the bright side, it's good to see you again, Agent Mara. Uh, what, what brings you here back to us all of a sudden? Well, after the investigation on Elia Reaper uh, with Sal and I, we basically were fired upon in the process and Dominic Bain just came out of nowhere and they both got away. Well, I remember Sal mentioning that after he came back to the office. So what happened next? Well, I was so infuriated and blinded that um, I took it upon myself to track and find Dominic Bain, and it went a little like this. Shouldn't be much longer. Got a few more bodies to move. Hold this perimeter down. Soon. Yeah. I got some wet work to get done. Yeah? Well, gotta dispose yeah, of them bodies. Immediately. Yeah. Well, we gotta get this done before the boss get here. Boys, look alive! Where's Diego? That fucking rogue detective's here. Go home, B. You come with me. Gotta be fucking kidding me. Wait, wait. I want you to flash over there. I'm gonna be nearby, all right? This shit ends today. Boss, take this. I got something for you. He says. Nowhere to go. I'm out of bullets. What do I care? You gonna shoot an unarmed man in the back? I think I got some time to tangle. Kill my people! Hey! Motherfucker! No!
when I went back to retrieve his body and see if he was still there, it was gone. He must have been wearing some sort of sophisticated body armor or something, or his affiliates picked up his body and took it. But there's no way him or anybody else would have survived all this, the stabbing I did to that guy. It's, it's, it's no way. It's impossible. I was going to say, how the hell could he have survived something like that? All I know is that we're dealing with some top threat. And I'm not even surprised anymore how this guy, Dominic Bain, keeps elusively not being apprehended by us. Getting away like some sort of magician. But if Dominic got away, how does this do us any good, Mark? Give me one good reason I should let you back on the team after pulling the stunt you did on us here. First of all, you wouldn't be in that position of power if it wasn't for my great work in the past. Second, you would never know about his whereabouts, any of his hideouts, or anything that he's doing. And besides, I have strong reason to believe and possible evidence that he has internal assistance from rogue agents. At least two of them. Okay, Mark, I'm listening. Wait up, wait up, wait up. Kind of in a rush. I got this job opportunity. No, I'm just checking up on you, making sure everything's all right. Yeah, I put in my two weeks something. I'll, maybe I'll see you around. Well, I thought you was trying to work your way up the ladder, like get a promotion. Nah, I'm going to check out this other job. This guy Parker came by. They seem to have new, some new recruits. That seems like a good opportunity. Well, good luck with the mystery Parker guy. And by the way, that's a weird choice to tie that you got on today. I'll see you later. Yeah, so Dominic, how's it going? I wasn't able to get any intel. Everyone in the FBI was on my ass. I'm truly disappointed in you. We were ambushed. I wasn't able to take him out. So I left before I was able to. I gave you two simple orders. Take care of Walter's son and eliminate the anointed clan's leader. You're supposed to be my best man. And yet, you failed. It won't happen again. Won't happen again. Have fun sleeping out in the cold, Dominic. Asshole. So, how's the leg feeling since the surgery? I gotta say, I'm feeling a lot better. Are you sure? Do you think that you're ready to get back to work? I think so. But I don't think I'm fully capable of pursuing the previous case. What exactly happened? It was all a blur. Three months ago, me and my partner got a call back about a potential shootout in Chinatown. It was three of us from Mira. My job? was to secure the area with the other agent day. We looked everywhere, from the stock rooms to the foundries. And all of a sudden, I see the third agent laying dead on the ground. Oh my God. Did they ever get his name? I blacked out before I could even see him escape. Excuse me one moment. Hello? Jack. You can't be serious after what just happened. Fine, I'll meet you in 20. Hey Evelyn, I'm sorry I gotta cut it short. But it was great seeing you today. Is everything all right? No, that asshole boss just called me, put me back on the case. If you hate this job so much, why don't you just leave? Someday I will. Sometimes. It's best to just 
listen to your gut instinct and take action. Biggest regrets are the risks we don't take. You're right about that one. <laughs> Thank you. Are you new to this case? Not new. I was reassigned. What's your name? Crystal. Crystal Steele and you. John DeRusso. I'm new to this department. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Gentlemen. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, now that we have everyone uh, here with us today, except Agent uh, Luke, you know, he's ill. Uh, I would like to uh, backtrack and talk about the recent uh, incidents regarding the current cases we have displayed. Agent Tom, start the PowerPoint. Yes. Two months ago, we encountered our first real uh, lead on this guy. On uh, September 14th, around 1.30 in the afternoon, agents Mark and Sal witnessed what appeared to be a body bag at the scene. Unfortunately, after tracking him down into the wilderness, our agents were ambushed and the potential body was never uncovered. Agent Tom, lead the discussion. About a month later, uh, we found fingerprints of the same suspect in an apartment located in the Bronx. Now, what's so strange about this case is that we found a second set of DNA samples of a John Parker. And according to the second investigation, he should have been dead. His body was never recovered. Lastly, there was a third individual and he was spotted at the same location uh, where the ambush took place. He was subsequently spotted at a warehouse near 53 Bayard Street, Chinatown. As of now, his whereabouts are unknown. Which is me. Uh, no one knows as of yet. At the moment, we're still uncertain. Do you know the name of the first suspect? The liar is all we have for now. Any other questions? None? Great. You guys are all dismissed. Yeah. What exactly happened at the warehouse? It's complicated. It's a good thing you came today. So that maybe next time you could be useful to this case I'm really assigning you to. It wasn't my fault, you know. As you can see, I got shot in the leg. I had to take medical leave for a whole month because of this case. Listen, Crystal. Am I your emotional babysitter? I don't care about your excuses. I only care about results. Because you failed to do your job, this killer is still walking the streets of our city. Did you even get a name? I don't remember. I blacked out. Get out of my office. What do you want? I have to go. Listen, I know that Jake's an asshole, but don't let him discourage you from doing your job. Thank you, Russo. It was a pleasure meeting you. It was a pleasure meeting you, Crystal. Hope to see you soon. Hey, Crystal. 
agent to lose his weight, you know. Depot is a major hassle. But don't take it personally, okay? Luke and I have been doing our more research on this case. And we would love to have an extra hand if you're interested. We'll be there by 4 o'clock Saturday. This card have my contact info. We really hope to see you there. But don't feel pressure, okay? Okay. Just think about it. Thank you. Have a good day, okay? So we got one. Yeah, the boss would be happy with this one. What? Where you going? We're not doing anything wrong to you. What's happening? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's hard on to take care of itself, I mean. Yo, who is this guy jumping and shit with the... Yo, handle him, man. Are you okay? Why would you even help me? You don't even know me. Everybody deserves a second chance in life. Wait, what? What? what why? What's your name? Dominic. <laughs> Dominic Payne. Thank you, Dominic Payne. Crystal, you made it. Come, come. Thanks. Where's Agent Lou? Nice of you to join us, Crystal. Thank you. It's a so strange over then. We've been missing the action since we began investigating this case in private. Agent Russo, he showed his interest and promised not to tell Jack. So I invite him to work with us today. Agent Romy. Can you please meet me in the office? We're having a confidential conversation. No problem, Agent Still. As you were saying. This is our thinking place. Luke and I have been come over here to make a sense to what the hell is going on in the past few months. I mean, what the would he want from the kid Elijah anyway? Do you have a connection between John Parker, Elijah, and the unknown suspect that nearly killed you and I? None at all. 
And I personally looked into that John Parker guy myself. Everything is so cryptic. I wonder why. So, show us what you got, Russo. Good idea. Hold on, wait a minute. Look right here. On May 23rd of 2000, a small facility in North Carolina was raided in search of Alan Parker. He was illegally creating biological weapons of war in an attempt to take over the country, but did not succeed. Alan Parker has not been found and is wanted in all 50 states of the country for not only making weapons, but as well as for the murder of his former assistant, Walter Reaper. Holy shit! So what does this mean? It means that John Parker could be Alan Parker's son, and the reason why Aliyah went after John could have been related to his father's murder back in 2000. But why John and not Alan? I don't know. But who is this other guy that you encountered a month ago uh, in the warehouse? You know the one that I saw in the wood? Do you think he have anything to do with it? Possibly. Hard to tell. Aliyah doesn't have the cleanest track record these past few months. Good job. I will never ever put everything together like this. I guess it's a good thing that you came along. Thanks for your help. Sure, no problem, Sal. All stuff? Yeah. Yeah. I will be on my way. I apologize, guys. This is the fucking asshole, Jack. You want to meet Russo back in the office. Now. Anytime, Agent Sal. Good job, partner. See you around, sister. Alan. Dominic. I hope you learned your lesson. What the hell do you want? I've got a task for you. That is, if. I'm sick of your games, Alan. Listen, Dominic. If you want to continue with your life in my industry, I'm giving you one more chance not to fuck it up. Do you understand me? One more chance. All right, I'm listening. What is it you want me to do? I need you to break into this bank and steal a document by 1900 hours tonight. But sir, that is a suicide mission. Dominic, you know as well as anybody, the higher the risk, the greater the reward. I sent a message to Detachment 16. They'll be waiting for you at the outpost near the Hudson. Do not disappoint me, Dominic. Went to the bar the other night, and the waitress asked about you. Don't play me, Captain. What was she saying? Listen, you better hit that before I do. Oh, you play too much. I won't be playing with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Captain, we have a strain in the premises. This is the guy you talked about earlier. Hey, copy that. I'm sending him down now. Stand down. He's an ally. Alan sent me here. I know. We got the briefing. He also said you fucked up. Hey, I did the best I could. Sure you did. Otherwise, you wouldn't be in this shithole part of the town. Listen. We got to do whatever you need to do. Follow directions. And don't fuck up again. And we'll make sure that you're taken care of. Follow me. Fucking dick. Hey, a couple of you can go. If you don't, if you stay, it's on you. Now, in case you didn't know, the boss assigned you to me. I'm Captain Abner. I mean, Commander's Detachment. I've ordered the Quartermaster to supply you with any equipment that you need. Are you listening? Yeah. Water record? We don't need scumbags. No screwing around. And if you're pulling in that shit you pulled before, you're gonna deal with me. You understand? 
So between you and I, this is some serious shit. So I'm going to give you the breakdown as per our plan. Found two locations of high interest. We're going to be dealing with triads, Chinese contractors, the anointed. They have full control over Baku Bank. We have surveillance photos from our recon team, Charlie. These are the photos that we obtained. You can see these people are forced to be reckoned with. Yes, sir. I learned my lesson in Kuwait. That place was fucking hell. Kuwait has these huge fleshing spiders the size of camels. I found one of those fuckers in my boot one day. That disgusting motherfucker would have had my big toe for breakfast. And they don't even get me started on the people. They're cuckoo for fucking Cocoa Puffs. No fucking way I'm going back there anytime soon. Uh, let, let's pause for a bit. I'm still trying to get my head wrapped around this. What What is this this document? By Cool Bank? And what does the anointed have that we don't? And why is the boss so eager to go along with the mission? This mission is a lot simpler than you're making it, Dom. Get the scroll and get out of there without blowing your cover. Capiche? Out of my way, fresh meat. <laughs> who the hell you? Doesn't matter who I am, hush hush. Now, now, ladies, play nice. Allow me to elaborate, you wanker. According to Sergeant Bernoy, this document is an ancient scroll that supposedly explains what the Chinese armies did way back then against their perpetrators. We're talking about arrows, gunpowder, and explosives. Shit that goes to build. And then you wonder as to why the fuck is this random piece of paper so special? No idea. To me, it's just history burrowing itself deeper beneath a rabbit hole. Who knows? Maybe the boss is a history buff. Doubt it. But look, whether you want to believe me or not, that's my input on the matter. Guess we'll have to find out soon enough. Just think about me. Your life depends on us. What makes you so confident that we could pull this off without getting caught? Confident? You see this? We got an entertainer, ladies and gents. It's called going full send. Because once you go in, you know you ain't gonna pull out. Simple as that. I never pull out. I think you've had your fair share, Jacobs. You're welcome. I'll be waiting downstairs. Anyway, he's right. Partially. Anyways, continuing on with the discussion. Fast, clean, undetected. Upon completion, team will report back immediately for further instructions from me. But uh, who's the team I'm working with? Who do you think, Chief? It's simple. I'll, I'll give you a clue. You witnessed half of it. The other half is downstairs, waiting. Now, since... Oh, hold on a second. How's everything up there, Sergeant? Sergeant Tess? Sounds like a helo has landed. Doing fine, Captain. In the wrong spot. Boss's halo just arrived. Wait, what? He's here? Now? Yes, sir. At this time? He said he had an urgent meeting he wanted to hold. Sounds like we spoke too soon. Okay. The cargo van is outside now. Roger that. We'll be waiting here. Copy that. Over now. Give me Charlie out. Yeah, man, it's been a tough week. The boss has been everybody's ass recently. Mm -hmm. right, anyway, what's going on with you? Yeah, Tony got shot yesterday, bro. Tony got shot? Yeah. Damn, I like Tony, man. Headshot too. Damn.
area. Attention! Carry on. As you were. What a wonderful sight to see, Captain. Our brave men and women perform their tasks in due time. Very impressive work and commitment you have here. The resources provided are plentiful. Good job sending the recon team early, ahead of schedule. Your acknowledgement of our detachment is much appreciated. Detachment 16 services do not go unnoticed, Abner. The more intel that we receive, the better our chances are to top our common enemy. What more enemies do we have aside from the anointed boss men? A lot more than you can imagine, kid. Hey, you. Yes, sir. Listen to me carefully. Whatever the boss is saying, don't take it for granted. You need to eat, sleep, and breathe the Alan Parker way. It's his way or the highway. If you don't, he will make an example out of you. They'll probably buy you some time, too. Understood? Yes, Sergeant. Good. Come on, Wilkinson. You know our unit is squared away. API will be running the world soon enough. Let's cut to the chase. Everyone. With time running low on our hands and feet, you know as much as I know how important this is for us. Thank you for the opportunity to go after that bastard, Walter, for ratting us out. Is everything okay, sir? No, Sergeant. Nothing wrong at all. Except it's been too long. Nevertheless, we're here now. And we're ready. There's no looking back. Not now. Not later. Dominic, you know as much as I know we don't have to hold each other's hands. This is your last chance. This is it. Understand. You get out of this alive. Scott free? Good. You can have all of this at your disposal. But if you fail again, that's just one more reason for me to take out the trash. Once I complete my sweep, you'll see me in no time out. You pick your fancy. Enough said. Everyone in this area. You dismissed. It's nice seeing you, Afner. Try to take it easy, boss. Don't work too hard. Crew, good luck. And Godspeed. Carry on. All right, Cat. Looks like we got a mission on our hands. Want to get the fuck out of here? Sounds good to me. Let's go. Took you long enough, rookie. For the record, I'm not a rookie, Jacobs. Seems busier than usual, don't you think? It does. Those shipments just came in 15 minutes ago. The containers in the shipment, aren't they classified? No shit. If a two like yourself can figure that out, anyone can too. Quartermaster Hayes is eager to see you, from what I've heard. He seems to think you're 
some sort of a living legend. A blast from the past. I didn't expect any fans of Malin. Seems like a rare occurrence. Probably so. Who knows? Well, look at this fucking guy. Shimmin' here. What's going on, Hayes? Jake is my man. You know how it goes. Seems like forever since I seen your crazy ass was yesterday. Anyway, what can I do for you? Don't quite swell. Nothing too much. Catching the wind, you know. Speaking of the wind, woo, we got the man, the myth, the legend himself. Nice to finally meet you, Dominic. Likewise. <laughs> you know what? For a guy like you, I got a special collection. Why would he give some lying fuck about your old gun collection names? Save it for later. When we come back. Sounds good to me, my guy. You're the boss. Maybe next time. When Jake was over here and got his balls lit like a Christmas tree. <laughs> anyway, what can I do to serve you two? We're looking to get some heavy munition. Like thermite charges and explosives. Explosives, huh? See, my guys don't change. Seems effective to me to burn down the entire building. After we grab the manuscript, cripple the entire economy, and hit them with everything we got. Yeah, right. It seems like a fascinating idea. But only one problem. And what's that? Bring all the attention to us. Back in me, Dad. Look, we're supposed to go blind in sight. Hiding amongst the shadows. This isn't like the good old days when we went guns blazing. Right. Okay, Jacobs, you got my eyes. So what's another effective way we could breach the ball? Easy. Where in the sky is? Maintenance uniforms, to be exact. Nothing too obvious. Very low profile. These chummy syndicates aren't going to suspect a thing. Not when a group of contractors are called in to perform routine inspections and repairs. Can you both be any louder? How about instead of concerning yourself or burning haze about his relationship woes, you figure out how we're going to successfully get this scroll? I heard your conversation from a mile away. Fuck magical, isn't it? I didn't know we had rats on the premises. Oh, you mean the rat standing in front of me who has a PhD and a run in his fucking mouth? Oh, Christ. That's bloody marvelous, Wilkinson. Aside from this tool I gotta deal with, there's always gotta be another juice head to fuck around. Juice head? I think my ears are clogged or something. Did he say that? Did I hear that right, Dom? Did he just call me a juice head? These guns are all natural. The fuck is this guy talking about? What's with this casual wear? Are we supposed to be maintenance? Correct. We are. Except that Jacob should have explained to you that one of us is going to be the OSHA inspector. There's the locker. Everything you need is in there. You got less than 10 minutes to ready up before the van leaves. <laughs> You're a funny guy, Jacobs. Never a dull moment with you around. So, Dom, how do you think the mission's going so far? It's going as planned. The number one thing in this cruel world, gentlemen. No sacrifices are too great. Even when shit hits the fan. Leave no stones left untorned. Yeah, but what the fuck I'm talking about? I didn't finally know what you want, Jacobs. Of course. Give us the proper Irish welcome. Oh, you talking about that package that Abner prepared for you. Okay, listen, hear me out. I got the perfect tools for you, but I'm just gonna need a little few seconds to get it straight now, okay? Ronnie. Yes, sir, on my way. There you go, Ace. Thank you, brother. I couldn't have done this without you. I appreciate it. Good job. 
All right. Hey, showed us what we got, so that we don't have any problems with uh, Abner. All right then. Here you go, and there, jump right ahead. Hmm, not bad. Doesn't smell like dog piss. Dog piss? Nah, it smells more like my second marriage. <laughs> Here's the kicker. These exceptional weapons right here were custom built and created by this guy right here. Get out of here, you gotta be, you gotta be kidding me. You can't be serious. Wow, I'm impressed, good job. Is it true, little man? You designed all of this, including the device. Yes, sir, I did. It took some learning, but he showed me the roast. Isn't that right? Respect me, sir. Tell you what, kid. If the hoist walks out, I'll get you laid at the pub. Sound good? Fuck yeah! <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you fellas with? Good enough. Let's go. My good. And go. Nice no more bending with your brother. Just as the captain said, fast, clean, and undetected. Understand? This is how this whole thing is gonna play out. Wilkinson is gonna be the guy keeping the fools entertained while we all head in. No questions asked. IDs, pull them out. See this? We should all have them available. No excuses. You do not want to pique the interest of the guards. As part of this operation, we can knock out two boards with one stone. You initially said that blowing up the building would slow down their economical advantage, correct? What we're doing is, we're sweeping our presence underneath the rug. We do have this. Sleeping canisters in disguise. Gotta look the part. They ain't gonna know. As we walk past the first floor, we take the elevator to the top. As soon as the door opens, we make an immediate search for the HVAC. Oh, I see now. The gas is a mobilizable security guards. Okay, no witnesses. Somebody's paying attention. From there, we equip the masks and plug the hoses in. It may or may not take a while, depending on how long. Wilkinson is doing his job. Whoa, don't you worry about me. I'm a good talker. Ain't that right, Leia? What's that? You lost me at I'm a good talker. Whatever, Leia. Once a person drops, make sure not to get hit, stabbed, or shot. You lose consciousness in less than 15 seconds. How are we going to get stabbed with everybody knocked the fuck out? There has to be some sort of reinforcements. That's more of a worst case scenario. Our wits and strategies are within our favor, Dominic. It's out of the equation. All right, so how much time do we have? 10 minutes to be exact, but our timing has to be perfect. We've got no option for delay. It'll take approximately six to seven minutes to go through and the last three to ready up. Needless to say, everything else and beyond is a cakewalk. We infiltrate the rooms one by one. The problem I'm seeing is, isn't there cameras involved? Especially with that level of security. No need to mention, the top floor doesn't have cameras to watch. W what do you mean no cameras to watch? Especially with the fact that there's multi-billionaires on the line. Because the jarheads down below have a chip on their shoulder. They think the FBI and the NSA are spying on them. So the solution was to have the cameras on each and every other floor, except the room in which the vault is located. Rich doesn't always mean smart, though. So, uh, drag the bodies, breach the door. Once the door says open, we retrieve the scroll and we head back, as we don't have any blood on our hands. In layman's terms, yes. 
You guys will go to the top floor where my fine ass is downstairs giving the establishment a subpar rating. They won't have a clue who hit them. Leia? No other input from the peanut gallery? Speak now, forever hold your peace. How about you, Sergeant Burke? There's nothing else on my end. I'm just here for the ride. Copy. You girls get your shit together and let's get the show moving. No one's gonna hold your hand on this mission. Though some of us might need it. Let's go. I'll lead the way. Affirmative. Hello, Mr. Barkley. I see you both your team. We're your friendly neighborhood cleaning crew. Pleasure to meet you. And your name is? Nelly. You can call me Nelly, good sir. So let's talk. Come with me, follow me, and welcome to Balku Bank. Seems like a reputable institution. Oh, it is. We just finished a special meeting with executives from the mainland, which can possibly boost our ratings. Interesting. How so? Because according to my supervisor, we received a few complaints about the lighting fixtures and smoke detectors not working as they should be. Do you know anything about that? I've heard. I don't recall anyone reporting any complaints to OSHA. We will do our very best to make sure whatever you received, it's not what's been said. I can assure you. Nelly, with all due respect, I'm not here to be jerked around. I can get that in the Philippines with a 25% discount. This isn't my first rodeo, and I can smell bullshit from a mile away. So just show me around, and let's get this going. Now, I have on file that the janitorial team report to the second floor. Is that fine with you? Yes, sir. It's completely fine. I'll show you around. Good. put it in a more secure location, like the vault. But, the point is, we tend to waste the extra money stolen in an underground shelter for kids. No, it'd be too costly to maintain, especially inflation. Why risk the reserves of matter to overcompensate? Initiating costs.
the longer we're standing here, the worse it's going to get to you, Leo. Hurry up. Pumping the gas ain't going to last forever. You rushing me is not going to make us go any faster. I'm trying to. Almost there. Good. Keep it going. By the time we're done getting shitted on, the entire city's going to rain Hail Mary like sitting ducks. And? Ducks. Finally. This is it? You kidding? You almost tarnished my one-way ticket to get out of this rotten festival dump. Grab it and get out of here at the rest of the mill. Fixtures seem to be working properly. Smoke detectors look to be in working order. No fatalities or severe illnesses reported last month. It's all wonderful and dull, Mr. Berkeley. But seems to me we have a batch of snakes lurking underneath. Excuse me? You heard me! Don't play dumb! It's part of a trick. The hell are you talking about? Are you deaf? I'm just a worker in the union. Making sure you and your employees are safe. Do what has to be done. Let me see your ID. Fucking ridiculous. What organization do you work for, Mr. Berkeley? I ask the questions, Mr. Lee. I don't like to repeat myself. Come on, people. Wake up. You should have known this was going to happen. Should have known? We get a group of foreigners entering into our vicinity, now acting like they deserve a place they call home. That's when I draw the line. Foreigners? A place called home? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Nelly, who is this guy? Your lapdog? You're about to find out. I told him! I fucking told him! I told him I was a worker! Well, why did they believe me? Why did they listen? Fuck! I was compromised! Oh, shit. Oh, nice. We don't have time for this. Listen, whoever you are, let him go. Now! You mean him? The imperialist? How ironic. The way this is turning out, it's a draw. Really? You're talking in riddles. It's simple. Give us a scroll, and I won't slice his head off. After that, I'll kill you all. Burn your bodies to dust. You must be out of your goddamn mind. Ah. What's stopping us from shooting all of you at once? You'd be dead in a handbasket. Easy now, Jacobs. We don't know what he has up his sleeve. Listen, we're not able to make that arrangement. I'm not going to say it again. Give us Wilkinson, and we won't start a war. We're not afraid to die. A man is willing to die for a cause he doesn't fully comprehend. Enough stolen. You have the scroll, or you will see blood. Shit. 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 Put yourself together, Corbin. You're better than that. Knock it all. Let him go. We're going to give it all away for this? Just to die? What the fuck kind of deal is that? Enough with the bullshit. Give us our man. Before you pay the price. Understand? Don't do it! Put the knife down! Put it down now! Don't die! No! Go fucking kill him! Get down! Get the fuck down! Okay. Okay. Please, please, please! scroll and let's be done with this. It was scroll. <laughs> From where I see it, I ain't give you shit!
I don't have any regrets doing this. That's a promise. Psycho cop, are you good? I think so. We got 30 seconds to get to the van. Copy, on me. Yeah. Come on, hurry, get in. It's always good to tie the loose ends up. Nice working with you, Dominic. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. It's Cyrus. Alan Parker just had a bank heist. So here's what we're going to do. You're going to come by, pick me up, and then we're going to pick up Rachel. Then we're going to head by the bank, clean up the evidence. Okay, I'm on my way. See you soon. This got hit hard. Oh, oh, you say P.I. And what the hell do they want with the bank like this? It's not like hold the money or anything. Well, not in this case. But it wasn't about the money. There was something here that they were after. This wasn't your typical heist. Shit. It looks like it was planned from the start. I don't understand. What the hell do they want with some manuscript that is not only wrote in another language, but also dates back to some ancient historical time? Come on, man. Yeah, I agree. It makes no sense. Unless there was a hidden message or something on the manuscript? No idea. But whatever it is, must be important for them to break in. I'm fucking lost for words. What the fuck we do now? Well, obviously, working with Jack is not going to get us that far, <laughs> unless we investigate this on our own. I agree. You could buy the first round. Honestly speaking, I could use a couple drinks right now. So can I. Call me if you need anything. Okay, Russo. See you in the office. Look who it is. 
So I overhear you doing your own private investigation with Sal and Crystal now? Where have you been? What is it to you? I hope you know what you're doing is illegal. And Sal, he'll just drag your ass down. You should know better to use classified information for your own personal gain, Russo. Well, I guess that makes you and I one of the same, huh? Since you're the one that started this whole private investigation with your buddy Sal. Sal always wondered where you were, nowhere to be found. Family and life got in the way. I've been keeping busy trying to climb up the financial ladder that requires me to do everything by the books. So don't you think for a second, just because you think you're doing the right thing with Sal and Crystal, it won't come back to bite you in the ass. What do you mean? Look, man, when Deputy Jack found out what Sal and I was doing, he threatened me with my job. I took the blame for Sal, covered it up so he wouldn't get fired. But I will not hesitate to cover my ass when it comes to you three. Who knows? Maybe it'll be you who Jack fires next. Until that day, I'm going to keep condoing what this police department fails to do and protect our people. So you can have a nice day, Agent Luke. <sighs> Are you Agent Russo? Yeah, and you are? Cyrus Winters, but you've probably heard of me as Detective Winters. Well, what brings you here? I don't remember the deputy mentioning another squad mate joining the scene, and I've never seen a detective come on a crime scene in a convertible. You must be new to the department. It's complicated. I don't have time to explain to you, though, Agent Russo. We've got a nationwide case going on here. What the hell happened? It was a crime heist gone terribly wrong. A group of anarchists decided to go get a history lesson. What do you mean by history lesson? A new military group, API, decided to steal some ancient manuscripts from the Boku Bank. Mind if I take a look? Knock yourself out. The squad's almost done. It's all yours. Sounds good. I'll be quick then. All right, Detective Winters. You as well, Agent Russo. Let's take back what's ours. Time to light these motherfuckers up. Are we sticking with the plan, Lorenzo? What about Alan? That old guy, Alan? He doesn't have a clue. Let's go. Get up! I said get up! Wipe yourself off, man. You know what you have done. Do you know what the hell you have done? I did what I had to do. You surrender years of history into the wrong hands and left our leader behind in ambush. Do you understand the consequences? What the hell are you rambling about? The squirrel. I'm talking about the squirrel. The one you give to your friends. And we lost contact with our leader ever since. So-called friends? It was much more of a business opportunity for me to buy back my freedom. Freedom? Look where you end up. Right in front of me. I shall kill you while I have a chance. We are Shut in. 
。你为什么不吓我？放开他！你确定吗？你为什么相信他？这个外国人，我要砍了他！我们别无选择。He has inside knowledge from the puppet master. You better be right, because if this man tries anything, it's gonna be over. Follow me. So what, white horror? So what? So. 先生，别这么紧张，坐吧。这么会去？这边结束就知道。先生，别这么紧张，坐吧。今天是我们家族非常可悲的一天。发生什么，大家都看到了。一系列不幸的事情导致我们今天这个地步。我们今天在银行遇到那些畜生，他们闯进了我们神圣的金库，偷走的是黄金时代最重要的一个卷宗。现在在人我手边，这么重要的卷宗被偷还是第一次。严重性大家都明白了，这是我们的历史，我们祖祖辈辈的遗产和文化，是我们血液流淌的东西，我们应该用生命去保护的东西。你说吧，堕落天使对圣经的把握力已经减弱了，但是他们并不理解其中微妙的本质。我们正在目睹的是一场即将来临的大决战。我们现在讲话的每一分钟，他们的人数都在增加。但是与此同时，他们也头脑简单，行动愚蠢。这不是经文第一次被恶意使用，也不会是最后一次。历史总是在重演。Just to be clear, you're the first foreigner to hear our side of the story. Your presence in the sacred land fills us with rage. If it wasn't for her, you'd be fed to the vultures for scraps. Why save me? Because you're the only one who can get to API's headquarters. What makes this scroll so important? What makes this scroll so important? Didn't you hear what she said? A thousand years of literature brought down. To protect our sacred people, and you're gonna tell me what the scroll is used for? Many centuries ago, there were three kings protecting ancient land of China. All three of them have different functions to maintain the law and order of the land. The first king, Hao Chen, is in charge of war. And the second king, Huang Zhilan, specializes in economic prosperity. And the third king, Yan Li, is a master of deceptions and schemes. The three kings ruled the empire for a very long time, and no one ever stood up against them until there was a drought. A drought that was long enough, food became scarce. Famine and disease spread. Before their empire completely crumbled, the gods from the heavens granted Huang the responsibility of carrying out the deeds of the Golden Scroll, signed by the gods themselves, in hopes to restore their lands, but in return, dedicate their loyalty to the Almighty. Eventually, after Huang kept his end of the deal, the other two kings noticed the great power of the Golden Scroll, and tried to take it for themselves. The Great War divided the lands of China, 
and ever since then Huang created four individuals to protect the Golden Scroll from ever getting the hands of Yang Ling and Huang Chen. And since then there was great battles. The two kings were finally defeated. Since then the scroll has been safe until you came along and gave it away. Now what would Alan Park will want with an outdated scroll from centuries ago from the past? To do what the other two kings did. Abuse the heavenly powers. But it may not be too late. We can still hope to get the scroll back. Yeah, how do we do that? Um. Really? After all the damage he's caused? Do you have a better plan, Tenzin? Or are we gonna keep on arguing until the devils finish whatever they're planning? She's right, Jingsui. You better be right, Luna. Tenzin and Luna, take him to where he was saying. You'll be staying here tonight. Hey! Yes, Dominic? What is your name? Luna. Thank you, Luna. Please, don't make us regret our decision to keep you alive. As you work. Can't believe he pulled it off. That guy has balls of steel. Certainly does. That's one that's problem to deal with. You don't have to say it twice. Here's the scroll. Not bad, boss. Looks good. So one more thing for the awesome. Corporal Leah! Yes, sir. Take the scroll. Extract all the information. Every inch. If you have to use the microscope, you do it. Copy. And Sergeant Jacobs. Yes, sir. Attention to orders. You are hereby promoted to the rank of Sergeant First Class. But you definitely earned it for your work. Thank you, sir. I will carry on the responsibilities with due diligence. I will not fail. Service before self. Carry on, no duties. And you all should. Since your flight commander has issued a promotion in line, I hereby declare an immediate effect to all those who participated in the delivery and success of the mission, the next track. Really, sir? I mean, thank you. It's an honor to serve beside you. They all earned it. Including you, Captain. I hereby bestow the rank of Major. Wear it. Be proud. And never forget the officer's creed. Understand? Yes, sir. Thank you. I will continue to serve to my last breath. You're welcome, Major. As to Tech Sergeant Wilkinson, his death will not be forgotten. Upon retrieval, he will be given a proper burial. Coordinates are being tracked. When we receive the location 
An MRU will be sent. That's all I have. Mr. Parker, sir. Will Wilkinson be receiving the Medal of Honor? I posthumously issued a step promotion for him, Sergeant. At this very moment, the council is working on a unanimous decision to grant the award. I'll make sure the book goes in. And if anybody doesn't have any other suggestions, I suggest that we'll carry on with our duties. Y'all have until dusk to finish the cipher. When you're done, Report to your commander for transport debrief. He shot him in cold blood, did he? Exactly as planned. No hiccups. And the anointed clan? We managed to escape in time before they caught up to us. I definitely outgunned the leader. Kept him off our backs. Dominic had no idea what was coming. It's a shame. He's no longer with us. Copy. Proceed to decipher. Jacob's on me. Top. Move along. We're some time off. Top time. Look at this guy showing up late. <laughs> Welcome to the post. Unlike you guys, this ain't my only fucking job. Oh yeah, with the other job, you have a name? What do you think about this all on talk a deal? The ancient scroll. We're getting no credit at all. And without us protecting their ass, they'd all be gone. And not for nothing. That Irish guy, he walks around here like he owns the place. Doesn't give us anything. Nothing. Never a hello. Listen, I'm Italian. I never trusted an Irishman as far as I can throw him. Yeah, we'll look around and chance their own fall. Listen, Lorenzo. I need you to take care of something. And what is that? I need you to take care of that Agent Russo guy. I had a funny feeling about him from the start. When we saw him back at the bank, he was asking too many questions. What is it you asked him to do? I think he may be on to us. And according to Alan, anything beyond our instructions is up to our discretion. I need you to find him. They can disappear. Do we know where that bald headed bastard's located? Wait, I think I might know. I'll have the intel for you later tonight. Don't fuck this up, Lorenzo. Fallon knew what we were about to do, and we don't get this done. He'll kill us both for leaving any folk behind. Don't worry about me, Cyrus. I've got the situation handled. Yeah, I got eyes on him now. Things must come to an end. Yeah. I had a feeling you guys were a bunch of crooks when I first saw you. What are you doing? Tampering with evidence? 
Give me one reason why I shouldn't call the squad in and have you locked up for life. Go for it, Agent. API owns this city. Bullshit. What is API? It's everything you've ever known. Well, listen to me, asshole. Take this as a fucking warning. If I see your face again, you're dead. You hear me? And tell your asshole buddy Cyrus I said hello. I'll make sure I lock up every single one of you fucking crows. You're gonna need more than a squad to take us down. All right, this is it. Ready for the investigation or what? Yeah, let's get this thing going. Listen, you're doing the right thing by doing everything by the books, Luke, okay? I appreciate that, Sophia. Thanks. Go. Detective Luke Bailey. That's my partner, Detective White. We just want to ask you and Ms. Reaper some questions that may further our ongoing investigation. Okay, I suppose that'll be okay. Would you like some coffee? No, yeah, thanks, I'm fine. I'm good too, thank you. Okay. Okay, so, uh, what's this all about? We have an open case against Madison's son, Elijah Reba, for his involvement in the disappearance of John Parker. According to our investigation, he also has some affiliations with a highly wanted fugitive. Hmm. I, um, I don't understand. What can you tell us about your relationship with Eliya? As you can see, this is not something to be taken lightly. What can you tell us about him growing up? Elia was a, he was a quiet boy. He didn't get into any trouble with kids from school or anything. I mean, his father, I mean, he, he took him to his favorite art museum after school every day. That was his favorite thing to do. He he did have a, a good friend. He had one good friend. But I don't remember his name. Hmm. We're also aware that you're Madison's caretaker. What does that have to do with anything? The caretaker of his only mother. As a caretaker, by law, it is your obligation to know her whereabouts. So the question remains, where is Madison Reaper now? I'm right here. Just give me a moment. I can tell you one thing. My son is not a criminal. Well, according to the evidence, we beg to differ. Well, evidence can be used in favor of both parties. What are you talking about? Have you ever once considered that my son is doing this because of what your broken justice system failed to do when his father was murdered in cold blood? No! Madison, if you know and are hiding Elias' whereabouts, you can get yourself into a lot of trouble. Serving justice needs to be done by the professionals, not a vigilante wannabe. Justice? In my time of need 11 years ago, you people took your time on my son's call. Nearly 45 minutes, leaving me to bleed out while my son pleaded for help, not knowing what to do. So don't you come in here telling me what justice 
is and isn't. You two can go have yourself some. That definitely didn't go as expected. So much for doing things by the books. You need to ride back to the office? I got my dry cleaner right over there, so I'm gonna go pick up my stuff, meet you back at the bureau. Okay. Sure? Yeah. See you soon, Sophia. See you soon. Yeah, she's lying. You know what? I need some help picking up dry cleaning. All right, see ya. That was close. Yeah, that was too close. I told you I saw what he looked like the night it happened. Then I Walter died. Don't worry, Elia. Your mother's coming for you. Are you okay? The enemy grows stronger the longer we wait. I suggest we hit him at the territory. Are we prepared? Luckily, we have you now, Dominic. That's when you lead in. So what's the plan, jackass? We head straight to the outpost. The outpost? Isn't that a death trap? We have to try. Okay, Dominic. Your call. We'll strike until then. Listen, if you try anything funny, I will not hesitate to slice your head off. You got that? You have my word. Hey, you okay? When I was younger, my mother used to bring me out to the woods in Yunnan province to appreciate the world for its beauty. She always taught me we should appreciate the things around us, the little things. Whatever happened to your mother? One day, I decided to wander out by myself just to meditate. But when I got back, it's okay. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Please help us get back to the scroll, Dominic. Our people's lives depend on it. Our lives depend on it. We will get it back. I promise you. We will get it back. You have my word. I do hope Lee's okay wherever he is now. Is everyone ready? I'm ready. So am I.
Listen, if we get caught in battle, I won't hesitate to leave you behind. Clear? Crystal. Let's go, soldier boy. Well, what do you see? Blocked. The entrance is blocked off. It means blocked off. Shit. Wait, that's it right there. There it is. Okay, Jinshui, you can watch from afar while me and Tenzin, we're going right behind you. Luna, you can distract them long enough while me and Tenzin, we'll take them out from the back. You got it. These are the walkies. We're going to communicate with these from now on. We're ready to do this, Dominic. We have no choice. Yep, because if you try anything silly, you know what happens. All right, let's go, guys. You guys are ready? I don't know. Whatever it is, what do you say calm and level headed? This is your leader? Yes. After the bank heist. He was brought here by Alan Parker and his sleeper, sir. What is this asshole doing here? Lee, he's here to help us get the squirrel back. This man is the one responsible for this. All of it. Lee. Yes, I'm responsible. But I'm here to help him. How can you both trust this man? He's a snake. Don't worry, Lee. Dominic knows the deal. What are you talking about? That if he tries anything slick, I'll be the one to kill him. But I never thought that out of all people who helped me during my time of need, that it was you, Dominic. So this is the man I've been serving all the while. Alan Parker. We all do things we desperately wish we could undo. Regrets shape us to the dark. We were his pawns once, but not anymore. As you can see, Alan Parker only uses people for his needs and throws them away once he's done. We need to get that scroll back, Dominic. Please don't fail us. You can't change the past, Dominic. But we can work together to secure a better future. Now let's finish this mission. Hey guys, we got company. Hurry up, get the other there. Dominic, we're losing time. We gotta see this You got it.
going to take him to Jean Sway. Me and Dominic will stay for the school. You got it. Should I take the side entrance? Yeah, absolutely not. I know this place in and out. Take the back staircase. It leads you right to Jean Sway. You're going to need this. Any idea what this thing might get I have no clue. What do you think the chances are of being in that room where the guard is? I'll take my chances. Waiting for a signal? Waiting for you, Daisy Dukes. That's how you do it. Really? So what are we doing now? Keeping body counts? Well, this just goes to show I'm more skilled. I don't think so. I just so. check this. After you, sweetheart. Ladies first. Before me. Jinjun, there's a bunch of guards around the exit. What should we do? Anti. I'll take care of them for you. You ready for this, man? I don't know if I can stomach killing an innocent man. Yeah, but if we don't, Alan will. Fuck it, you're right. Let's do it. Where's this up? I can't believe you're still alive. I can't believe you either. Vincent and Dominic are still down there. We have to go get them. That's it. The gents are going to run out of town. Are you ready? Yes. Shit, damn it. It's a fucking trap. Take the scroll. Take Let's go. go. Take the scroll. Go, 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 go. I listen. It's okay. Take the scroll. Go. Go. What, go. what are you talking about? Are you insane? You can't. Throw your life away like this. Listen. Listen. This is my chance for redemption. I gotta hold them off. Go for no. the. Just come with me. For the sake of the scroll. No, Dominic. It's for the sake of the scroll, I promise. Go. Too late. You're talking about. Go. Shit. Dominic. Go. Tessa, how's it looking? Not good, but I got the scroll and I'm headed you guys now. Where's Dominic? Dominic, he... He let me go so I can get to safety. Go back, Vincent. Hey, it's Dominic. Dominic, get out of there. What are you doing? Don't worry about me. Listen, sometimes... Everybody deserves a second chance. This is my second chance to do the right thing. Go to the village. Leave now while you still can. Jinsway, don't let this be for nothing. Dominic, you're a hero. Go. We have to move now before more guards show up.
What are you doing, cabrón? Take my garbage. What you want to do? Once I'm alive, you can't kill him. Keep him alive, so. Surgeon, man. Fuck him. Let the police handle him. Fucking take him. Hello, 911? Yeah, there's somebody in my yard right now. I think it's the guy from the news. He might have a weapon on him, I'm not sure. Okay, I I'm at One Green Forest Court. Okay. Okay, thank you. Let's go, let's go. Get my seats. Let's go. Hey guys. Steel's cops. Let's go, let's go. Come on, Steel. Get him. Let's go, let's go. Check the perimeter. Scout the area. Let's find yeah. this guy. Suspect located at the rear of the house. Back of the house, everyone, back of the house. Remember me? Back at the warehouse? 
And the hell you put me through? <laughs> we got you now. Exactly where we want you. You're making a huge mistake. Put the gun down. <laughs> Why would I do that? Try that shit again, I'll blow your fucking head off. Stay on the ground or we'll use lethal force. Look what we have here. You think we weren't catching on to your shenanigans, Dominic? It's about time you get caught. Been running around out there for way too long. Arrest him. Don't go easy on him. Agent Luke. Ass. You know you're making a mistake. You make a mistake. Sir, I gotta talk to you about something. What's the matter, Agent Luke? It's about Sal, Russo, and Crystal. We did it. This is just the beginning. I mean. It's a huge step for our investigation, right? How do you feel? I mean, I don't know how to feel right now. A normal person would be happy with cracking down this case. But me, I don't know. What do you mean? What I mean is, what if this guy's actually telling the truth? He just told me we're putting innocent lives at stake. I don't want that type of blood on my hands. What if he had no choice? Not much we could do. It's the FBI's problem now. I guess you're right. So, I saw you with Deputy Douchebag. What did he have to say? Anything good? Let's just say he'll find something to complain about later. <laughs> True. Breaking news, the hunt for Dominic Bain is over. He is currently in custody with the local police and is awaiting trial. There was a call by a local resident in regard to where he was last seen, and he was right behind their house before the police arrived. Luckily, they arrived almost immediately after the call and were able to apprehend him. Hopefully, Dominic's apprehension will lead us one step closer to a crack in the case to find Alan Parker. My name is Amanda Collins. Back to you in the studio. Dominic? I came as soon as I heard. What's going on? It was a big misunderstanding. What do you mean? What are you talking about? Just know I'm here to do the right thing. What is that supposed to even mean? Only time will tell. Time will tell? Dominic, we've been together for the past two years now. Like, I don't understand any of this. What is going on? I know all this is new to you, but I have a job to do, okay? But I'm gonna make everything right. Do you promise me? I promise. All right, Dominic, I trust you. Listen, just promise me that you're gonna get out of here, okay? Do you promise? I promise. Do you love me? I love you. I love you too. Listen, I gotta go. I, I gotta... There's some things I need to do. 
But I'll be back as soon as I can, okay? Listen up. Ten minutes. You got ten minutes. Ten minutes. Are you ready to be put on death row? It doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is that we show the people the truth. What do you mean? I need you to trust me, Agent. How can I trust you? Just a few months ago, you had me held hostage. <sighs> I'm sorry about that. I did what I had to do. But now it's your turn. What I'm supposed to do then? What? Just let you walk freely and continue to kill more people? You know what you have to do. But why do you think I have to do that, Dominic? Because if you don't, there's an evil, corrupt man out there doing evil things to people. And I must stop him. And what if you're wrong? Believe what you want. Their blood won't be on my hands. It will be on yours. Sometimes it's best to listen to your gut instinct and take action. The biggest regrets are the risks we don't take. Leave through the back entrance in exactly two minutes. There are no cameras or patrols there. As soon as you leave, head straight to this address. I will meet you there in exactly a half an hour from now. Okay? All right, what about the court hearing? I'll figure something out. I'll see you soon. Get out of here. And hey, where do you think you're going, Agent Steele? I've been waiting a very long time for this moment. What are you talking about? Just get out! You better listen to me, goddammit! Crystal has bane with her! Whoa! Slow down! What do you mean, Crystal has bane with her? She released them from the cell, you idiot! She also almost nearly killed me. You better do something about this. What do you expect me to do, Jack? Don't play stupid, Russo. Agent Luke told me all about this. Now, if you don't go out there to your private hangout area and retrieve them for me, you better kiss your career goodbye. Yeah, listen, I need you to send me a team to this location, now! Yeah! What the fuck are you doing here? Wait! You're still now, buddy! Agent still sent me here! Bullshit! This could be a trap! Stop! Know your weapon! Why do you defend this group? And who the fuck she? It's none of your damn business. He may be our only reason on taking this guy down. It's okay. Lower your weapon. We are safe. It's a long story, but she's right. Let's just talk about this. Listen, I work for a man named Alan Parker. You guys probably have an idea what he did a decade ago. Jesus. I can't believe you actually citing this fucking guy. I don't understand. The FBI should have their recent file of discovery. How could it be possible? There's more to this picture than what meets the eye. You guys probably have no idea what this man is capable of. You have to a rude awakening. A rude awakening? I think you hear this fucking guy. So if you think this guy is so evil as you claim him to be, why do you want to? Exactly, because I had nothing before I met him. What do you mean? I was homeless before I met Alan Parker. I served in the war. 
my family was sold for my contribution to the services. When I met Alan Parker, he took me from the streets and gave me food, shelter, clothing on my back. Right along by his side. But then that's when I realized the true person who he really was. If you guys don't take this chance, there's a possibility you will regret this decision. What happened? We recently broke into the Baikun Bank with three other soldiers. We stole the Golden Scroll. Big mistake. Watch the car would drive away. Let me for dead. Assuming all this is true, what did Alan do to make sure he wouldn't get caught again? Simple. He has everybody working for him. The police, the military, even your pastor. It gets people at their weakest point, persuading them to do everything that he wants them to do. He's a very dangerous man and his mom. So how do we know this fucking Dominic is a liar? And we'll take them all down with us. Agent Mark. Who are those guys? We're the guys here to shut this whole conversation down. Which, according to Deputy Jack, who's been surveillance in the room, it's illegal. You must be Agent Steele. I've heard a lot about you. Jack talks about you all the time. But you know what? I'm disappointed in you. Allowing this to go on. Agent Sal, I remember you. Still look the same. Fat turd. Who almost got us killed in the forest and a boss operation chasing this guy and whoever his criminal partner was that we were fighting. Screw you, asshole. Whatever happened to you? Nothing. Still the same asshole I've always been. More <laughs> professional though. Okay. Deputy Jack reassigned us back to a case with no regards for our safety. As far as I'm concerned, this case is a suicide mission unless done with proper proportion. We are this close to cracking down this case. You have to understand. You have violated numerous laws. Aiding and releasing a criminal, assaulting a deputy officer back at the Federal Bureau. Give us one reason why we shouldn't arrest you right now. And all of you, because you're all are facing major jail time. Maybe if you guys knew how to do your job right, we wouldn't have this problem right now, would we? Agent Russo, I spoke the civilian off the park. Please, please, I put two bullets between our eyes. After everything we investigate, we came across evidence pointing back to something bigger than this man here. Dominic just happened to be the midst of it. What kind of threat are we looking at here? You know what? Enough with the nonsense. Agent Sal, Agent Steele. I'm gonna give you guys two choices. You either agree to turn them in, or you're all going to go in. You know what? I'm gonna play nice for today. But if I ever see any of you three guys, including your civilian buddy, I'm gonna put a bullet in between all your eyes. May God be with you. <laughs> What's this new good cop routine you got going on, boss? It's not like you. It's an FBI tactic. We make them think we're letting it slide. But what really is going to happen is that you and AJ Russo are going to stay close to them and put a tail on them from now on. You report back to me, and I report to Deputy Jack. Roger that, Captain. I'm so sorry, Crystal. I had no choice. Jake threatened me with my job. You're a coward, Russo. Sometimes in life, the biggest regrets are the risks we don't take. You're making a big mistake. They'll come for you. They'll kill you all. Let them. Fine. Suit yourself.
desaparecían. Tommy? Tommy, is everything okay? You're worse fucking. So after all this time, John, we finally meet again. 
This bullshit ends now, Elia. I'm done fucking negotiating. It ends here, Elia. I've settled this shit the old fashioned way. responsible to destroy my life, and you just happen to be another piece of the puzzle! This guy's fucking crazy, John! I may be crazy, but I have my reasons. Do you know how it feels to have no father, John? Alan killed my father when I was just a boy! And left my father to die! So why go after John and not just Alan Parker? Because I need Parker to understand the pain for the consequences of his actions. And killing John will be the biggest of them all! Do you think I had anything to fucking do with this, Elia? I had nothing to do with my father. Nothing! I haven't spoken to my father in years! In years! You think he would fucking care if you decided to kill me one day? Absolutely not! Elia, do you know what it feels like to be constantly fucking targeted because of your father's sins? Do you know? What the hell are we doing here, Elia? He was just ready to kill us a few minutes ago, and now you're ready to sympathize with him? He is the son of your father's murderer! Everything we have done until now cannot be lost. Now is the time for you to exact the revenge that you wanted for so long. So kill him. Look, Elia, you two have more in common than you thought. No one has to die tonight. We're not so different after all, Elia. What the fuck is this place and who is this guy anyway? Elia and I have been friends for years. We're childhood friends. So you guys are just hiding out here? What exactly are you planning? Eli and I have been planning for some time now to take over API. I see. Building some secret mass society to take down Alan Parker and his rising armies. Yes. And that's what we intend to do. What the hell are you talking about? How the hell did you manage to get up here? I've known John for years. After him and Elia's last encounter on that rooftop, he reached out to me, get some inside intel at the FBI. With enough scooping, you find out what you're looking for. So you're a double agent for the FBI, too? Yeah. Do you really think you're gonna be able to do this on your own? I've longed for my father. His downfall, Alan Parker. Enough is enough, Elia. This ends now. I'm done with my father. Sure, this is the right idea. I hope so.
It's been six months and still no update on the whereabouts of Dominic Bain after escaping police custody right before trial. A few potential suspects who are affiliated with Dominic Bain have already been brought in for questioning, some of these suspects being officers and detectives. The investigation for not only Dominic Bain, but as well as Aaliyah Reaper and John Parker continues. If you have any information which can help further this ongoing investigation, please do not hesitate to reach out to your local police department. Again, this is Amanda Collins, back to you at the studio. Hey, Walter. Wow. I rehearsed this scene so many times. Now that I'm here, I'm lost. Uh, I just want to let you know that you're right. You were right the whole time. Alan was the enemy. should have listened to you from the jump. But because of my ignorance, I, I just feel that you should be up here and I should be down there. I'm so sorry. But I want to let you know that I'm going to continue to get justice for you. I'm going to continue to get justice for you until my dying day. Please don't think any less of me for the decision I'm going to make. Yeah, Lee. Tell Jinshui and Luna I'm on the way. Addicted to my grip, said shotgun when I shotgun. Shotgun, give me shotgun. Shotgun. <laughs> Famous John Kingdom, Rio's Entertainment. 
Iraniumfilms.com, baby. Make sure you subscribe. And I'm gonna go like this. Let's take it. Just give it a